Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle and I talk a lot about personal finance and investments. In this video, I'm pleased to share with you that Gcash G-Invest now has two new investment funds that we can all invest in. That brings a total of Gcash investment funds now to seven. The first of these would be the BPI ALFM Multi-Asset Income Fund. Now, I won't be discussing this fund in this video because I've already gone through this in detail in a previous video a few months ago. Previously, this was just available via BPI. Now that it's available via Gcash, it's actually the same exact product. So if you want to know more about that product, you can look out for this video on my channel so that you can know more about that fund. For this video, we're going to be focusing on the BPI IMI Philippine Stock Index Fund. And more than just going through a rough summary of this fund, we're actually going to be comparing it to the ATRAM Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund, which is the existing local equity index fund that is already available in Gcash. Why am I doing this? These two funds are actually quite similar. In many ways, they are actually competing with one another. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing the ATRAM Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund versus the BPI Philippine Stock Index Fund. So without further ado, let's go and compare these funds. So let's start with what's common to both these funds. First and foremost, obviously, they both invest in Philippine equities. So the two funds are mostly invested in local blue chip companies such as Ayala, BDO, and SM amongst others. Now, in terms of the minimum investment amount and subsequent top-ups, the needed amount stands both at 50 pesos each. So these two funds are actually very budget-friendly with these very low amounts. Lastly, where these two funds are actually the same would be the processing period in terms of the withdrawal process. So both funds need three business days once you have requested to withdraw your shares or units from either of these funds. So those three things make up what's common to these funds. Now let's get on to the more interesting part and what really sets one apart from the other. So let's start with the trust fees. For the ATRAM Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund, the trust fee stands at 1.5% per annum, while the BPI IMI Philippine Stock Index Fund is actually just at 1%. Now, in terms of the total fund that is being managed by these different fund management companies, ATRAM is managing 1.26 billion pesos for the Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund. And for the BPI IMI Fund, they are actually managing 10.85 billion. Why is there such a big difference? Well, the BPI fund was actually launched in 2003, while the ATRAM fund was just launched in 2016. So BPI has more than a 13-year head start. Should that matter to you? Well, that really depends on your perspective. If you feel more at ease that BPI is managing a larger portfolio and there are many more other people invested in that fund, then I guess that's the upside there. But more than the volume being managed, what really matters is the historical performance. And this is really the meat of the matter. In the past year, ATRAM has returns of over 16.77%, while BPI, on the other hand, has returns of over 19%. So in the past year, BPI is definitely ahead. Now let's look at the cumulative returns over the last three years. The ATRAM fund is in the negative, just under 4% at negative 3.8%, while BPI is similarly in the red, just under 3% at negative 2.77%. Why are the returns negative over a 3-year period? Well, as mentioned and given disclaimer by Gcash, these two funds are actually for investors who are of the aggressive risk profile, so there is some risk for you to lose your money. But anyway, this video is not to discourage you from investing in either of these funds. Like I've shared with you, the past one year return has actually been fruitful for both funds. But what I'm really comparing here would be the performance of one fund over the other. Sharing with you those numbers, since these funds are very similar, both invested in Philippine equities, BPI seems really ahead, first with their lower trust fees, and second, their much better performance versus ATRAM, not just in the one year period, but also for the three year period. One key difference though would be in terms of the minimum holding period, ATRAM actually has no holding period, so you are free to withdraw the funds anytime after you have invested in it, while the BPI IMI fund actually has a minimum holding period of 90 days. In terms of the minimum holding period, this is actually where ATRAM is better. But anyway, investing in equity funds is actually more of a long-term play 
rather than cashing out your quick gains. So for me personally, the 90-day holding period for the BPI fund doesn't really matter much to me and I feel like it shouldn't really matter much to you if you are really looking at greater returns for the long-term perspective. So again, in this video, it's BPI that comes out on top. Again, this is not a sponsored video. It just so happens that BPI has come out on top. First with my comparison of US equity funds offered by Philippine banks. That was my video a few weeks back. For those of you interested in investing in the global market, you can check out that video later. But also for those new to investing and investing smaller amounts via Gcash, the BPI fund is just showing a better track record of how it's performed. I guess another difference here would be BPI's fund is actually a mutual fund, while the Atram fund is actually a UITF. Are there any differences between a mutual fund and a UITF? The short answer would be yes, and I'll share that in a future video. But basically, as a regular investor, the differences between a mutual fund and a UITF is actually quite negligible. For me, I just really care about how my money will perform and how much of it I can actually get back. Again, I hope this helps you in your decision-making process and in your investments. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, guys, and happy investing.